Hey everyone, time for a book haul again. Um, I purchased some books and I purchased some more books and then I purchased some more books. So I figured now would be the perfect time to just go ahead and do a book haul. <laughs> so to get started, I'm gonna start with one you are probably all familiar with. This is Orange is the New Black. It is written by Piper Kerman and she is the woman who um, the Netflix series based off of. She actually did go to prison, which I didn't really know. I thought that this was like a fictitious book and that Netflix was based off of someone's great idea. I didn't know that she actually went to prison. So this is her memoir. So if you're interested, you can pick it up just about anywhere, but I got this one from Target and it was 20% off. The next book is called Kisses from Kate. This is written by Kate Davis. And she actually went on a mission trip to Uganda during Christmas break, her senior year of college. And so this is all about her, her experience there, excuse me. And I've been wanting to read this book for a while. It came out in 2011, I believe. And I picked this up at Barnes & Noble. The next book is supposed to be funny. That's what all the reviews said. It's supposed to be funny. It's called White Girl Problems. And I just wanted a really light and airy and like not a super super deep book to read at the beach and at the pool this summer so this was the one that I selected the next one is what I would call it a deep book <laughs> any book that's about like slavery and domesticated workers in the home it's to me it's a deep book it's kind of heavy it will resonate with you and I think it doesn't really matter what your race is if it's something that affects the human experience. I think it resonates with you and it's not as lighthearted as something that's supposed to be like a comedy or light and fluffy. So I'm really looking forward to actually finishing this book. I've only read a couple of pages and so far I'm very impressed. It is about a woman who is an orphan. She's a young lady actually. She's an orphan. She goes back to um, live with this family and she actually becomes one of the workers in the kitchen house and um, it's just it's an interesting book I look forward to reading it if you enjoy the help I've been told that you will too enjoy this book very much so and this is written by Kathleen Grissom the next book is also pretty deep from what I've been told I've looked up reviews on the shack this is written by William Young and it is about a father whose daughter is abducted and he starts to question God and his faith and I've just been told really great things about this book and I look forward to actually having the opportunity to get through it and read it because I've, I'm reading two books right now and I'm really trying hard to get through those two um, before I start a new one but I do look forward to starting this very soon. The other two books that I have for you are a little bit peculiar so those are like the regular old school book haul books. I'm sorry for the loud noise I just made. Um, this book is called Bedside Blessings and it has 365 passages in them and underneath each passage is Bible verse and I always find it to be very applicable to my everyday life and what I'm going through. It's very encouraging so if you're into this sort of thing I strongly encourage you to go um, and to google it. I'll put information below if I can find where you can get it. It's written by Charles um, Swindle. My mother purchased it for me as a gift and it's just really sweet. It's just like a few sentences you read it before you go to sleep and it kind of just puts you in a better frame of mind I feel and kind of helps you relax and have a little bit of peace before you go to sleep instead of worrying about everything so if you're into this sort of thing I'm not trying to push anything on anyone but if you're into this sort of thing I think you would really enjoy this book um the last passage I read was July 5th so as you can see hopefully it has a few sentences up here and then the bible verse is down at the bottom and on the back it says Hallmark, so maybe this is something that's available, but that's readily available since it's from Hallmark. And then the last book, really quickly, I just wanted to really read this um, because out of curiosity, I am a registered nurse, I'm a bedside floor nurse, and I thought that this would be a really good book to read. It's written by Florence Nightingale, and it's notes on nursing. So these are her thoughts on nursing and nursing practice. And we learn about her in school, but I thought that it would be interesting to actually hear it from the horse's mouth instead of from a textbook and, you know, all of the different things that you learn about nursing and the different types of nursing and the pioneers of nursing. You can actually read one of, well, the main pioneer of nursing. You can read her thoughts. So that concludes my book haul. I hope you all have a wonderful afternoon, day or night, depending on when you're watching this. If you have any questions or any requests for the books, please leave those below. And also, 
If you've read any of these books and you really enjoyed it, please also let me know that. I am on Goodreads and I will put that information below if you want to be my friend on Goodreads. I will talk to you later. Bye.